Alright, hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, it's been a while since I've put out a video. I understand that I get that. Last week I was really busy with some things. Um, won't get any details, but that is my power supply shutting off. Anyway, perfect timing. Um, so, back, it's Tuesday now, back into the swing of things. You may notice uh, something a little bit different about this video, and that is because I have a new camera now. This is the Sony a7R 3 and coming from a DSLR Nikon lineup going to mirrorless uh, I won't get any super long details because that's not what you care about um, but <clears throat> I had been looking at the Z6 or Z7 and based on my research you know I know there's fanboys all around but based on my research for my needs I decided to jump ship and go to Sony's mirrorless lineup. So that's what I'm recording on this. And this is going to allow me to make some really high quality videos. I will still do the vlog style videos from my phone on inverters I get on the bench or things like that. But when it comes to specific how-to stuff, I'm wanting to get more professional about that kind of stuff. I, I really do. I think it's helpful. Um, I'd like to do unboxings, um, some good ones, not just a in the garage with a couple lights on. Um, you know, I've got all my studio lights and stuff inside, so I want to get some pretty good quality videos going. And um, I got a long list of modifications people have been asking me about, and I'd like to be able to do that stuff and obviously test with disclaimers that I do work or contract with PowerJack, so. Um, I would be completely neutral and unbiased, basically. Just the data and nothing else. <clears throat> so, uh, anyway, that's hopefully going to be happening. I finally got a nice load, a big chunk of parts, um, mainly MOSFETs. So, I got a bunch of MOS boards here. Um, the concern that we've had, or at least they've had for a while now, is that I would run myself out of parts if I started selling because I do have a lot of requests for parts. So they wanted to prepare a larger shipment for me that would be used for uh, not only repairs but also for buying. Now, as far as uh, the MOS boards go, I'll have everything from the smallest 1.5 kilowatt inverters all the way up to the 15,000 watt inverters from 12 to 48 volts. Um, I need to get some high quality pictures, which now I can, and I'll get those on the website. Um, my cost plus obviously some shipping preparation or whatever you want to call it. They call it shipping and handling, or they used to back in the day, shipping and processing now, or I don't know what they call it now, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So, uh, obviously I'm going to be throwing in a couple extra bucks for my time, uh, but the thing is, is when you order parts now, unless you find them on Amazon by chance, which hasn't been happening lately, uh, you have to wait quite a while to get parts. And so now, and I'll get into this, the warranty work later, but now if you need parts, you buy them from my website, I can send them out usually the next day. Uh, sometimes same day, depending on uh, if the UPS uh, driver hasn't shown up yet. And by doing so, you get your parts in a couple of days to the lower 48. <clears throat> and that's going to save you, obviously, some time. Now, um, I do recommend that you figure out if that's exactly what's wrong with your inverter, because none of the parts carry warranties. None of them. Because if there's a problem with, let's say, for example, your control board, you put in all new MOS boards and the control board blows up the MOSFETs anyways, even though they're brand new, then obviously that's not going to be covered under warranty. So diagnostics and then figuring out which parts you need, and then I can send you those parts. Now, PowerJack inverters, I believe now are starting to come with uh, like a three-month warranty or something. Can't remember exactly what it is, so don't quote me, but the warranty is shorter than it used to be. So I can still set out parts for warranty work. In fact, I've been doing that for those who have had problems and uh, they need parts. PowerJack will basically send me a shipping label so I can ship out some of these parts. So I have been doing that. <clears throat> Another reason why I haven't been able to sell parts. Now, my uh, cat 
is picking a good time to want to whine about something. So anyway, um, we uh, are going to be getting the parts up here pretty soon. Hopefully this week I'll finally have a good stock amount and low frequency drivers, power source boards, all that stuff, control boards. And so stay tuned for that. Now, uh, repair services, I've been asked about this a lot. Repair services such as, uh, let's say you don't want to dive into your inverter. Let's say that it's busted, it's not under warranty, you're not comfortable getting into it and trying to replace parts or whatever. You can send that unit to me. You cover the shipping back and forth. You cover the, um, the labor to actually fix it and then the cost of the parts and then I can repair it for you um, <clears throat> that's seems to be something that um, I get asked about more and more some people who just don't want to open their inverters up they you know they quit working for whatever reason maybe they did a quick inspection didn't see anything wrong or whatever don't know what's wrong nothing's jumping out at them then they want to send me the inverter so I can do that um, Obviously, it's going to be like an hourly rate, but because I've worked on so many of these, I can pretty much identify the problems right away and fix the problems. If it's something real simple that takes me five minutes, I'm not going to charge you an hour's worth of labor. I'm not that type of person who's going to try to stiff you on the labor. <clears throat> Basically, you pay for the shipping and the parts, and then you know the I'll do like 15-minute rates or something and then you can get it back out to you within a couple of days. So that is gonna be an option as well. Um, have uh, Some people have been sending me just burned out inverters they don't care about or want anymore. If that's something you wanna do, get a hold of me. I'll take it off your hands. You know, there's always parts that I can get. I can even repair some of these and sell them used. That'll help me as far as, um, you know, putting a little bit more money into my pocket so that definitely helps so that is an option if you have an older inverter that you don't want anymore don't care about anymore um, you know all you have to do is pay the shipping to send it to me and uh, I'll take it off your hands um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of what else I need to talk about before uh, I end this video uh, I don't think there's really anything much going on um, the version 9 of the big 15,000 watt inverters uh, they are still being designed and we are still working on them because ideas have come up and it's something that <clears throat> needs to be taken care of. Um, you obviously know already about the details of version 9 where um, you know it's a new design, things like that. Um, but <clears throat> one of the uh, complaints that I get is the LCD screen is very slow to react to load and one thing that I was uh, like that I would like to see is a faster refresh rate different contrast different color because the blue with the blue text it's kind of hard to see especially in uh, brighter situations or at different angles and higher refresh rate so that you can see where your surges are uh, because a lot of times something will surge and then it won't even show because by the time it goes to refresh, then it's the surge is already gone. Um, so that's another thing that we're looking at doing. Um, also a high, uh, like a, a max output monitor, not only for load, so it'd be like a load percentage of that particular inverter to kind of gauge where your load is at, but also uh, to be able to see where your peaks are at. So if there is a surge of, let's say, 10,000 watts, um, it'll show... 10,000 watts on it'll stay there as a stationary maybe on a different page or whatever that it'll show you know peak output for this session is 10,000 watts or something like that so you can kind of see where your surges are um, so that's another thing that we're looking at they've drastically improved the cooling of the uh, the units there's more fans now there's lid fans for the big units now um, it is a stronger case and uh, they are removing the 220 volt plug that's on the front, turning that into a 120 uh, or 110. So that's some other stuff. But yeah, we're still in the design phase right now. They have a lot of the parts finalized, but 
there's still some parts that need to be done. I mean, they really want to uh, make a really good impression on this. And I know that I'm going to get those comments from a few select people who I pretty much ignore now at this point, um, who just basically just throw whatever negative comment. It's a typical internet YouTube troll kind of stuff, which I don't really care about anymore. It doesn't really bother me or it doesn't bother me at all. I just basically ignore it. Um, so Power Jack uh, has come a long way and they are going to have an improved product here. The power tank units, um, I've received several and I have not received one that's been burned up yet. So that's a good sign. That doesn't mean it's never going to happen, but that is a good sign. Um, so I'm anticipating that these new 15,000 watt units are going to be uh, very reliable, heavy duty. They manufacture their own transformers now. Uh, all the cases are now manufactured in-house. Basically, they're getting tighter controls on quality and um, they're trying to also add features at the same time. But we all know that features equal complexity equals possible things that can go wrong. So it's kind of like what's reliable, you know, we're gonna add this feature, but then does it take away reliability, things like that. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you're trying to get a hold of me, again, I have to remind you that I work two jobs. I have warranty work that I have to do here. I have kids, family, I have all sorts of things going on, and I do this all on my own, literally on my own. From the minute I wake up to the minute I go to bed, I am working on something. I can't tell you the last time I've actually been able to sit down and go, ah, oh, because I'm always on the go, always on the move, always doing something, whatever. So I don't have time, and I understand, I get it, you know, typical, you know, you run a business, you have a call center, whatever. I get it, but I can't do that because I'm all alone. Um, I don't have a team of people working with me or anything else like that. I can't sit on the phone with you for 35 minutes talking about your aspirations, your goals in life, and whatever. I basically have to get back to work. Some people I can put on speakerphone while I'm working and I say, you know, I've got you on speakerphone and I'm, I'm working on inverters. They seem to be okay with that, but for the most part, it's so much easier just to text me through the Google Voice number your questions and then I can answer those. Um, last weekend I think I had maybe 20 messages from 20 different people, 20 different questions, some had more than one question, etc, etc. I, I, I try as I go along through the day to respond to these. I get a warranty pair done then I'll, you know, whatever, I'll respond to three or four messages, go back to work, Kids get home from school, I gotta get them around for dinner and stuff like that, then I'll respond to a couple messages, you know, stuff like that. I'm doing the best I can. That's all I can say. Some of you fall through the cracks, I'm sorry, because this thing literally fills up and up and up and up. And since I've recorded, started to record this video, I've got two more messages on here that have popped up. So I am constantly getting hit with messages. There's nothing wrong with that, it just means that. I'm not going to be able to get back to you like right that second. I, I'm trying my best to do that. So sending me a text message is the easiest way because I literally don't have time to have phone in my ear while I'm cooking for the kids while they're screaming in the background and then I got a warranty. You know, I, no, I, I can't do it. I just can't. So <laughs> um, I will, you know, try to talk to whoever I can, um, but I'm, I'm doing the best I can. So just bear with me. I'm trying to figure out what to do about that. Uh, maybe I can get PowerJack to hire me a secretary. Put that in the suggestion box, you guys. <laughs> so anyway, uh, if you order an inverter from me, I have some inverters on Genetry Solar. If you order an inverter from me, I know that it's more expensive than what you can find on Amazon or on eBay. But this is the thing. You order something from me, you're going to pay a little bit more. But I am going to provide extra service for you. Because if you order, especially the big 15,000 watt units that I have, those my solder gun, uh, I will automatically upgrade the charging feature if that's something you want to use. I will install the new 8.5 boards into those inverters. So you are getting that. You're also getting bench testing. Um, I pack them much, much better. 
and uh, I go through and inspect them for damage anywhere that I could possibly find. So anytime you order an inverter from Amazon, for example, uh, it comes from China to the States to the Amazon warehouse. There's probably about 40 different hands that actually handles it before it gets sent out to you. Then you have whoever delivers it will deliver it to you. And uh, yeah, that's a lot of hands. But if it gets delivered to me and I inspect it and whatever, then it's basically brand new when it leaves here and you know you get an inverter that is fully insured because I do insure all my packages that come out of this location. So if you get it, it looks like it was dropped off of a 12 story building. We can go through the insurance process. I can send you out another inverter. And then yes, it's unfortunate, but there's nothing I can do about that once it's left here. But I'll take care of you as fast and as best as I possibly can. So yes, you are gonna be paying a little bit more, but in my opinion, it's just my opinion, again, I'm the one making the money, but you're getting a better product because I cannot compete with Amazon's um, and eBay's power jack prices. I just can't. There's no way. I have a certain cost that when an inverter shipped to me, then power jack charges me X amount of dollars for that. I could, I could make... 10 million dollars on it or I can make ten dollars on it but the big inverters are bulky they take a lot to move around they take a lot to diagnose I like to run them overnight to make sure that they're okay you know things like that so there's a lot more labor involved in that that's what you're paying for you're paying for all the extra work that I put into the inverter so um, I, I get asked all the time why is it so expensive on your website that's why I have a certain cost that I have to meet with power jack and then after that whatever money is above that is money that i make the problem is is that i have to cover all costs of shipping warranty everything else like that then thereafter i sell it on my website you guys don't even talk to power jack you talk to me i provide the warranty work and service out of my pocket so again it's it's just about getting a little bit higher so that i can make some money on this because we are in the business of making money. That's what we do. It's not a lot, believe me. Some people think that, oh, it's $500. Jeez, ripping people off. No, it's not. Trust me, it's not. I have my costs, and then whatever is above that is my profit. But I also do a lot more than just take an inverter that was sent to me and then send it to you. I open it up, inspect it, rebox it, package it well, and starting i think after may 1st or 2nd or so i'm going to be getting new transformer brackets so i'll be able to install those as well so that's your guarantee basically so anyway if you have any questions of course let me know genitreesolar.com message me uh, i'll do the best i can to respond to those and if you have any suggestions uh for me go right ahead and throw them my way anything else just let me know so again if you have any questions let me know and uh take care